Three soon again. Tonight. <laughs> Still pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think we move this way. We assess it and fire it to him. But seems to be at this moment. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to I thought we sent him an assessment notice to be here at a regular 30 day hearing and then told him this is a ditch assessment. And then after that, we certified to the auditor. That's how I read the code. But I, I, I think, you know, we're not on the record yet, but uh, it's recording now. I, th I think we have to do what the, uh, or the law tells us to. Yeah. Now, hopefully, the attorney will interpret that correctly, but he's reading the same spot I am. But that doesn't mean he interprets the same way. Every lawyer wants to interpret his way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jesse, get here. This is first. Yeah. 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 We're actually doing the hearing that we do. A quote there. Yeah. yeah. It don't matter how much you want to hear. So those are there. Yeah. Okay. Of course, he wants the lawsuit tied because he gets one. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, you continue to litigate, then he makes more money. That's not what we're after. Good for you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's going for it. Yeah. This? Yeah. Thank you. Well, sure, this is the last one. Depending on how busy we are, you got a couple of minutes, I can bend your ear for a second. And I got, I got, some, I got, some, I got some information I found. Can, can we get out of it? No, it, it's kind of hard. Looking at all this, I'm not sure. Is that, <laughs> if you keep the meeting silent, I'll keep the meeting. I keep the hustle going. It's too stupid. We run out of the uh, He just wants to make sure we, we still stay on. Yeah. We've got our assessment post. Did you bring these? Yes, I did. I didn't know. Serving another anyway, he got locked in. The U.S. government. Kind of. His daughter met at the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> that's a cool story. I got her. That term, that means something. It's CIA, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is this the one you have for? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may have to help me uh, work through all this to make sure I have uh, your oh, no, no, your no, <laughs> Uh, north and east of it. No, they're not real close, no. 
The horse, you're talking down by Matthews? No, that's right. 26. The 26 on the left in front of you is the northern part, the one that goes to Hartford. If you come two more miles south, then it goes to Fairmount. There's a part there between, between Upland and Matthews that 26 runs north and south. They say it's five, but it's 26. Five stops at 22. 600 south. <laughs> 600 <laughs> south goes I don't know. Me and you sharing this Right. Greg right. Over? Sure. We will call the Grant County Drainage Board to order August uh, the 30th. And uh, we recognize all five members present. We uh, do have quorum. And our first item on the agenda is the. Uh, Review and approval of minutes. <coughs> Make a motion. Mr. Cates has made a motion to approve the second. Minutes. Mr. Cox made the second. Any other discussion, corrections, comments, editorial changes? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Abstaining? It's unanimous. Very good. All right, Jim, if you'll walk us through claims, please. First one is the Grant County Treasurer, $6,161. This is maintenance to General Drain Improvement Fund to zero drain balances. Now, these are money that uh, from past reconstructions and stuff that this money was found in old accounts that uh, there's no maintenance on these, so it's going to be transferred back. Buck run, $1,332.68. Dry Fork of Peterson Casey, $3,698.24. The Egbert Grain, $102.22. Tyler Street Grain, $1,027.83. The next one is Sullivan's Excavating is $19,750 on Big Black Creek. There's $2,000. 212,694 in the fund. This was opened up a property, the house that had flooding problem right by uh, Farville. And we, we still need to go downstream, but this, this will help him out to keep him from uh, flooding, hopefully. Questions? What's the 708 like on Buck Run? Is that the account number? That's the ditch number in our fund. It's just a number that's assigned to that ditch, yes. right? Yes. Other than a name. Maybe we pay these claims. Motion to Mr. Cox to pay the claims as presented. Second. Second, Mr. Pinkerton. Other questions, discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Abstaining. It's carried unanimously, and we got one more, don't we? Yeah. Uh, Drury Simmons, $35 on Hummel Creek. I'll make a motion. Mr. Goff made a motion. Will you second that, uh, Kenny? Yeah. All right, we have a second with Mr. Cates. Discussion? We'll talk about that uh, account here just in a few moments. All those in favor would say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. And abstain? Abstain. Carried four to one abstention. And that takes care of uh, payments, right? Mm -hmm. Under old business, a uh, little crane pond. Uh, that's uh, area inside city limits. We're still working to try and uh, work out a vacation. Uh, with regard to Hummel Creek, I think everybody has seen comments uh, from our attorney. And basically, he's waiting on us to make a decision. Um, I, I do not prefer to... to pursue any more litigation right now. I want to see us 
uh, get as much of the money that is owed back into the general fund so that we can deal with the other things. So that would be where I see us going. I think we've spent enough on attorney fees, but I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And the way I kind of read it, you know, our other option is we send him a 30 day notice for a public hearing and here, here's your drainage assessment. And then he attends the hearing, either objects or, and then we vote on it and then we certify it to the auditor. And they put it on his tax. They put it on ditch tax. I think that's the way that we go on it. There could still be litigation down the road if he wants there, to buck it. There may be, but uh, 20 days after we file, I think that's the our ruling. It'll be procedure. like a regular public hearing. Mm -hmm. Just for the and we cannot just, collect just for that amount. Fees. Pardon? We, we cannot collect the attorney fees back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think it's. We throw enough money at this, and he's obviously uh, take our loss and go on. Yeah, I, I think that we probably should have a, a motion to move forward the way that uh, our surveyor has described. I, I was so moved. Whatever it needs to be, we move forward, and what we hearing at a hearing during each we have during each four hearing. Do we need to set that date now, or wait till? You, We've got the calculation and the uh, the notice ready. I've been waiting. Okay. Mary can prepare the notice and legal for the paper. So we can. Uh, Do we have a date? Well, we're going to let you get that done and then they're going to set a date that you send the notices out. Okay. So we notice, can bring it back to the next how meeting. How many notices do we have to send? Just to him. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought. I think we're going to have to. With, <laughs> with your permission, if you withdraw that, we'll wait till we get all the, the pertinent data and we can make it. Why don't you just set the date in 45 days and that'll give her plenty well, of time to do well, it? Well, I was going to ask is um, if I'm only sending it to him, then I to legally do it, it would be October 11th. That would be the hearing date? Yeah. But That's if you wait two more weeks to set a date, then I'm two more weeks later. Than then we're rolling further in. I, I kind of like the idea we go ahead and set that date. October 11th. Yeah. And we want to, like Kenny says, send a certified letter to make sure because he'll say that we didn't get it. Return receipt. Yeah. Yeah. So you made a motion. Can we incorporate that yeah. October 11th date yes. in, yeah. in your motion? Anybody want to second that? I'll second. Mr. Cates has seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Those abstaining? Abstaining. Carried four to one abstention. And again, for the record, Mr. Uh, Cox is on that ditch, so he, he uh, needs to abstain from any vote. All right. No updates yet on solar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think. Mr. Cape, you're going to talk about Little Crane Pond, but not where we're trying to vacate, right? Right. Different spot. Yeah. Well, Sorry. Well, yeah. Because you're vacating the north end, right? No, that east side from Miller on. Oh, behind the condominiums. No, it's that in, in the city. It's not that uh, that <laughs> east side. Just vote anonymous. Yes, get rid of it. You hear that, Pat? I heard it. We don't need any more ash tree problems back in that area. <laughs> just other ones, other issues. We'll yeah, we, we'll be talking about that under other business. Right? But it's but it's the different. We've been trying to get rid of that, and we never got rid of it yet. And but it's still. <laughs> Unfortunately, like the other some of the other stuff, it's in the hands of the attorneys. <laughs> yeah. And they're worth the same home for. <laughs> All right. Uh, under new business. Uh, well, I want to. I'd like to address the solar. Solar. Okay. Um, I've been reading and hearing, and I'm not an expert by any means. But we've been Homo Creek. We fought lawyers, and I think this solar ordinance, the solar people got more money than we got. And uh, I think we. I don't know how we can. How do I say this? How we can protect our ditches than the private ditches? 
I don't know that's it's written in there. But maybe it is, but I can't read it. And we'll be glad to uh, bring those those documents back up next next time around, so we can wrestle with it. We're we're not uh, at this point. We we don't have to go with either of the two drafts until October. Is that right? Does that sound right, Mister? I was thinking. Uh, I was. I think it was September nineteenth. Uh, I thought it was October, our first meeting in October. Uh, uh, Ryan, can you confirm or, or deny which, when our deadline is? October 1st. We're first. Okay, very good. So we would have to act by the end of, of September. Uh, we, can, we can, at our next meeting, review those things, make sure you're, we've got our questions <clears throat> answered. Because I know the area plan voted to uh, what's the word? Moratorium. Pardon? Moratorium. Moratorium. And if I'm not satisfied, I want to bring from the drainage board moratorium too. Mm -hmm. We'll be glad to uh, to make sure where we stand. Look at all that that stuff. Uh, let's see. What's our September meeting? Is it twelfth? Is there a reason this is going to be done by a certain time on account of the state or what? No, at this point, we have two legislative pieces uh, that are in front of the commissioners. One is uh, the draft seven and one is the draft four. And by default, one can go in or by vote, the other goes in. Well, so it's one or the other. On this one, repair by... Uh, Required by the project owner to repair their original condition. We don't want a 120 year old tile. Back. I, I'm not sure what you're reading right now, but it's it. equal to or better condition. And, and you're not going to get parts and labor for a 100 year old drain. It's going to be new stuff. So it's supposed to be uh, the wording is. To equal or better condition than it was found. I got a question. Why did we let them build in our right of way? Who then? The solar people. Uh, we don't. I didn't, think, part, we were, I didn't think we were going to. I thought part we were going to. Part, part, part of 75 foot east. 75 foot east. They can't I thought touch. we were going to keep that yep. everywhere. It's the private tiles that would be a problem. Uh, yeah, but maybe we can't do anything about that. No, but, but you can then protect them. In the economic, economic development agreement, we can we can still put the screws to them on that. But it has to be done in the economic development agreement. Well, if we're not going to just, you know, I, I will wait until the next meeting or whatever. I don't want to. No, we're not going to let it ride. We'll, no. we'll discuss it. And, just clarify our date here. So, so you're saying that the uh, area planning voted down four, and then if it, it goes to seven then? They, what they did was they voted not to recommend, is, is that the, the terminology, not to recommend? They accepted or rejected it, basically. They rejected it. So what happens is it comes back to us. We have to either act on our four, the commissioners, or if we do not act uh, to vote that in, the other one automatically becomes at the end of that period. So we've got either we vote or we don't vote and that the other one kicks in. Bureaucracy. That's yeah. what it is. It's bureaucracy. Is there any way you can send us a copy of seven? Yes. No, we I think seven. I have a copy of four. I don't think I have seven. Now, Mark, is that when you vote? Is that final? Uh, for the ordinance, yeah. And then anything we do in the future is done by amendment to it. All right, we need to get back on track. Yeah. We will on the 13th have that information so that we can review it 
and we'll get the uh, both drafts to everybody so they can continue to chew on that. All right. <coughs> new business, Radcliffe Tile. David Orr wants to uh, make a presentation. And I'll uh, say a few things to get, in, get him started here. There's actually uh, $1,900, in the fund. It's been collecting for a few years for this project. Brings in $3,799 a year. There's going to be another $1,314 in the fall. And they've got some estimates from Scott Rogers that they actually need uh, 31248 to do it. Mary, you got this number. There's going to be 3799 in the fall. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the yearly assessment. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. There's 21000 or something in there now. Yes. Right. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, uh, this tile, it's old. It's It's been neglected, and it's half full of dirt. And... We'd like to ask the board to for to use the, the money in the fund to go ahead and replace it. We wouldn't have enough money for a couple years uh, at the current assessment rate. My question was, could we borrow two years of assessments from the general fund to get this reconstruction done? Um, and as, as you can see, um, Scott Rogers bid to fix it and uh, my father and I would, would pay the rest of the money uh, after the two years of assessments. We, we would pay the rest of the money to get it done now. That's what I'm trying to say. If we could borrow two years of assessments from the general fund. That, that's what I'm asking for, I guess. We have not generally done that. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't think we were to ask. For if it pays off of the year we have, but you were talking about two years, and that that, that makes our fund kind of short. I, I'm just saying. Do we have it in the plan? Yeah, the money's there. That's uh, Mary can tell you how much. Now we did just bump that fund up by six thousand one hundred sixty-one dollars from these old accounts that we put back into the general fund. Well, so that helps. It just bounce back. Now, what's the total now in the General drain improvement fund seemed like 170. I remember. Now, while we're talking about this, what's the name of the one that Barry's wanting to? Notes. The notes. Then there's like 21,000 or something in the notes, I think. Correct. Okay. okay. And when Scott Rogers gets there, all he's got to do is go across the road to do the notes. But Scott didn't get a, Scott fell off a backfill machine and Dave got a bid out of him uh, before he fell off or whatever. And Barry is having trouble getting a bid off of him because he's not the best of health, I guess. You know, we had those hearings at the same time to raise that money for both of these drains. But Mary just reported, how much is in there, Mary? In the general drain? Yeah. 154,000. 154. That's what's in there, plus this six we just transferred. So 160. Well, Mary hadn't got the, the bid in yet, but it, I mean, it, it'll be a, about the same far off. No, it'll be pretty close. And, yeah. and this isn't, I'm sure it won't happen for several months. Yeah. And there'll be time to, to address that one as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we'd like to do both of them at the same time. I appreciate that, but I'm saying we, whatever, we, this won't pay back the two and then the general here and, and Pretty soon, we don't have a general drain treatment fund. But, um, no, I, no, I understand that, Gordon. I, what would the board would the board be comfortable with any anything borrowing from the general fund? Like you said, usually a year's worth. I 
and try to be as, as treat everybody alike as much as we can. And uh, I don't know if this. That would definitely be a new precedent. Would would one year borrowing from uh, from assessments if we paid the, the balance still? Could we do that? You'd pay it out of pocket for the remainder of the job? Yes. Yeah. We definitely could run loan one just, year. It just never hurts to ask, I guess. So. <laughs> we definitely could loan one year. So basically, that'll, that'll be the fall that's going to be in there. So there's 21 something, and then that would be another $3,799 added to that. I'm, I'm just wanting to kind of treat everybody equal and uh, don't <coughs> take the paper seriously. And see. And is, there, is there going to be any other area where this is going to break down, or are you going to have it all replaced then? All no, the bad? all the bad's going to be replaced. So you'll still be paying this maintenance fund with nowhere to really spend it that second year, you know. Correct. We know that money's coming back if we did do two years to get this project blocked. I'm just saying. So they're going everything to that this is going to connect to is already new. It's already new all the way to the creek. Yes. It's a 30 inch tile, parallel state road 13, all the way to the open ditch. Yeah, we raised the maintenance high on that and got that done a few years ago. So these two would have an outlet when their money built. I'll make a motion if we go along with this deal. Second. We've suggested quite What's a few things. Is, is yeah, Kenny's two year Kenny, borrow. You're saying a two year borrow. All right, Ken. You're talking about two borrow for two years? Whatever. Just take two years. That's what I borrow, requested. Borrow to general grant for two years. years. Which puts us down technically under 150,000. Well, we just put six in there a little bit ago. <laughs> Count that. Well, six uh, it puts it down to 152. 154 on the four, so now it's 160. But We have a motion with support, so feel free to discuss. So that's going to be like, like you were saying, it's, it's going to all be new now, so you're going to get the assessment, and there's they're going to be paying that second year anyway. Yeah, they're going to be paying that second year anyhow. Of the so. 3799 So that'd be double that that would be loaning. So we're, we're still looking at a two-year repay, right? Yeah. Right. In order to do the project, everybody, no, you calculating the like dude. Even if we borrow that money, you. you you still, you say you've got a balance of 2518 you're going to pay out of pocket? Absolutely. To make up the difference. I, I understand. I just make it a point and that we, and I don't know what I'll, how I'll vote in the end, but. <laughs> <laughs> And I appreciate that we're willing to pay for it. They need they need the ditch, and this will get it working. I understand that. <clears throat> now, see that that other one we, we loaned for a year here a while back. That didn't take care of all the ditch. That just got us to a certain point. It's still going to need maintenance, and they're still going to be working on it. That other part it didn't break down as bad. For Mr. Westfall, of course, this and I'll be done for the next 20 years. Yeah, so okay. eventually we'll bounce back and it won't be spent. We won't have to worry. They're still going to pay maintenance. They may want to lower their maintenance. Or... What is the maintenance on it now? 
It brings in three thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars a year. Uh, Ten dollars an acre. Ten dollars an acre. Home, one hundred fifty dollar home site. Eight homes. Minimum swap. I, I understand the, the direction and motivation, and my biggest concern is if we have something that blows up on us, uh, how quickly we could cap that that hun remaining hundred fifty thousand dollars until we until we see that reclamation from Humble Creek coming back in. I'm I'm just nervous about that. I mean, I I, I but it goes like in Humble Creek. Yeah, yeah. Like like Gordon, I I uh, I uh, can I can see a year. That's kind of where I'm at, but. We still got plenty of votes yeah. on the board, so. The problem is your bean counter cut out letting the farmer <laughs> find yeah. the amounts yeah. on this thing. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Yeah. It, it, these here, I don't see it. I'm sure that Dave would go ahead and do that, okay? I, I don't have any problem with that. I know too. But, but, we tried to do that once before, and he wouldn't let us do it. And uh, just you know, <laughs> well, at least we got Elliot done before he said no, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. Uh, Mary, is there any way to project how much general drain improvement fund will be reimbursed in the spring? Yeah, it'd no. be difficult. Right? I'd have to. Yeah. It would take me some time to sit back to do it. It takes okay. a couple hours to figure all that and out. And then every month it gathers a little bit of interest. Because because whatever you loan down will be coming in back in in the spring collection. Some of it. Yeah, we'll be getting. Now we're ready. Call for question. Got the question. Yeah. Ready to vote. If you want to go for the two-year <laughs> loan, uh, in the motion you would say aye. 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 And if you're opposed to that, you'd say no. no. I'm not abstaining. You can abstain, yeah. Right, that, if we'll, we'll, we'll say three <laughs> ayes, one abstention, one no, and uh, it is carried. Okay. I'd like to thank you guys very much. All right. We've got that. Wendell, we're up on Little Crane. Do you. <clears throat> Do you want to open the bids for a talk, or how do you want to do it? Do you have the bids? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We have quotes for the clean out of uh, Little Crane Pond. We have $41,867 in that fund currently. And how many uh, invitations did we send out, Raymond? Like 13. 13? 13. And we only got two back. Oh, we had more people talk about it. I don't know why they were afraid of it. Uh, John's Repair Service, uh, Andy Rickner, they all got the same letter. He's putting in $25,000, $450. That's John's. Mm -hmm. The other one is uh, Redmond Excavating, $51,307.95. There's only forty-one thousand eight hundred sixty-seven in the fund, so I, I and they all got the same letter. See, the the problem is there's nowhere to burn all that in trees and brush back in there. That's got to be hauled off. So, where are they going to haul it and burn? Well, that's up to the contractor. We, we left that up to the contractor where he's taking it. So, what are the extents of the the work we're talking about here? Is it from Kim to Chapel or? Well, see, a couple years ago we took care of that last guy. He did a lot of work himself. We paid Redmond maybe a thousand five hundred dollars to make the ditch good. So we're only going to his property line. We're just... I've got the letter here if I need to read he's it. Got, all. He's got it. Yeah. Yeah, really. That's good. That's good. Yeah. We've measured it and probed the bottom. We're going to put a pretty good letter together on what we're doing. Jim, who was that first bidder at twenty-five thousand? 
Uh, John's John repair. repair. John. Yeah, Andy Rickner, John's John repair service. Don't want to know not Matthew's ditch is Swayze. Yeah. Chainsaw. And chainsaw. They both have a load amount. I don't know. You do a good job on that. Are. Yeah. 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 But it took him off the whole time. How many loads? I'm not and sure. He's got three thousand one hundred dollars. Yeah, so what you come up with? I'm not sure that excavator is. He can get it down through there. I think so. Well, those little mini excavators, yeah. But. Well, the lady that had to fence 13 feet from the ditch, she's going to move. We're going to go out probably tomorrow morning and put flags in at 40 feet, and she was real pleasant. She agreed to move it back. I don't know how fast Andy will get there. He just needs to wait until this fence gets moved on, and the pool's in the road. There are expense. One of the pools, like 30 feet. I mean, the fence itself, the pool's all okay, but. And then because the ditch run at an angle, he didn't want his fence at an angle, yeah. he made it straight and it's 26 feet at the other end. And that's where the next lady just took off at 26 feet, put her vinyl fence in with a, a large, long shed right in the easement too. I this talked to her. family, that's not the Paducah that, family. No, that's right next to Paducah. And I give her a copy of the code and we've sent a copy of the Indiana code about keeping the easement over. Every time a contractor comes in and mows, Mary sends all those people a notice, get your stuff out of the way. Here's the Indiana code about putting stuff in the easement. It's supposed to be on the rules of the subdivision. She said she had no knowledge of it, that she didn't know. Does well, this, she built her fence because their fence was there. Right. <laughs> Does this have to go through city area planning? Yeah, it was approved. City area plan approved. <coughs> You know, and, and the board approved, though, in 07, the board approved the 40 foot, and we can get by. Now, we're going to go, we need to go ahead with the project where. No, but like when this lady built her fence, mm -hmm. did she get a, a permit? No, she just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that fences require a permit. I don't believe Do your do. area plan I, for them? We never hear okay. about them. That's, you know, okay. that happens all the time to us. Because if she didn't know, there'd be no way she knew. They don't have to get a permit to put a fence up. Well, I don't think that. Okay. I think it's the same. Kennedy but the drainage system. board has got. But we don't know they're doing it over the yeah. thing. Right. Okay. We just have to call them and tell them they got to move it. Well, you talked about rights. You may have to have your attorney sign a letter and send to all these people to get a return receipt on this mm -hmm. too. And then we may have a lawsuit of all those people. Mm -hmm. That's close. They well, they own to them. Yeah, that's fixed. They do. They do own, but it, just can't use it up here. Can't what they'll do is they'll come in and they'll ask for a reduction. Uh -huh. What I don't understand in there, Jason, Jason Miller had a, a bill for two hundred and thirty-nine thousand. Well, that was the estimate for Little Creek, not Little Cream Pond. That was another agenda in 07. It got cleaned out as a reconstruction. Okay. So, but I mean, you might as well tell these people they're going to keep the fence back because somebody's coming down through there every year, either going to spray or going to mow. Now, it's nothing to me, but Wendell the other day was out there with three tractors, two of them mowing and a backhoe digging uh, trees and stuff out of the creek and getting them so the creek was open. And, and really, my opinion is he ought to turn in a bill. And the lady to the north, she's okay. You know, she's got a six foot coated vinyl fence. It's 13 feet from the ditch. We're going to put flags in and she's going to take it out and put it back 40 feet and then leave it at 40 feet the way I understood it because I told her if she put it back up there then She'll have to move it again someday. Yeah. Now these trees, I, I, I've been out there and looked at this. I don't know who else yeah, is using yeah. out there. I've been out there a couple of times. But those trees and stuff back there, <clears throat> if they had a vacant lot, they could come out. But if they got to come out to to uh, Kim Road, yeah, I think that's, all that's the houses it, are. It has to come out to Kim Road because we don't, we have no. 
right to cut across one of those empty lots and we run it up, we're going to have damages there if we get sued. I, we I have to repair that lot, we compress that soil a lot. Too, so that's I, mean, much every, I, I did notice, out. Kenny, I did notice on these, these quotes we received, they're real close. Uh, uh, Redmond excavating was $3,750 for removing the trees. And John was, uh, or I mean Andy uh, Rickner, was three thousand one hundred dollars for moving the tree, so they were okay there. It was it. It was the so tobacco, what's the big difference in their bills? The backhoe work, brush travel and level spoil was forty seven for Redmond, and clear brush. And he's got an eight thousand dollar category to nine thousand one hundred equipment rental mulcher. Okay, four thousand. He's going to mulch it and haul it out. Who was? Who's Rickner. going to mulch it? Rickner. The little stuff, but you're not hauling them big trees. You're, you're cutting them up in a dump truck. Well, I'll tell you what. <coughs> they're going to have to have the right weather and so forth. They're going to have a truck down in the ditch. Right. Slide in. So. And then how much landscaping? We don't... We don't have a whole lot, you know, we're not going to make this look like a golf course. <laughs> well, we're going to landscape it like we do our ditches. Yeah, and there's that, always some landowners that's got to do a little bit of work. That's, that's the thing. We, we keep letting this, we got 75 and we keep letting it down and letting it down. And farmers are paying my lion's share because those mm -hmm. homes just pay a minor amount. Because the, the city's moving to the country. Mm -hmm. so, there's six hundred and some houses in this thing. It's paying ten dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, we won't give up this section anytime soon because Sal, how many acres of farmland are there? And it's probably three hundred coming in from the south. So you're from Jim <coughs> Road, but there's other farm acreage coming in a lot more in the whole system all the way down yeah. to Harold. Yeah. Yes. There's quite a few hundred acres. Yes. But yeah. I don't have that in front of me. Only, I think there's only 300 from Kim uh, Chapel South. I don't know. That's at 10. Are, are we sure that those the houses are paying 10 bucks? I don't think it's paying 10 bucks. No, 10. I don't think, think we've changed the grain at all. <laughs> oh, Mary. Mary was looking. We'll have to look again. That's uh, so so all she's <coughs> doing. When we, when we did that work, East of Mallory Avenue? Uh huh. Because that's all part of the same. There's like, there's like 60, 37 pages, I think, of that. Uh, Do you have an assessment, Joe Kenny? I got it. Yeah, you'll. Does Kenny have one? I got it. There's like 37 pages. No, no Pat wants to look at Oh. Did you have it, Kenny? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I didn't print them all out. I got the whole thing here. Don't make any difference. That's 10. So here, you're right. We're going to have to deal with it, but we got to be more maintaining the 75 feet because it ain't going to work. I don't you know, know, when you guys did Taylor Creek through my yard, I paid $50 a home site and I cleaned my yard up myself yeah. just to get the bulldozer out of my backyard. I know. I did all the landscaping myself. So get out of here, I'm going to do this myself. <laughs> when, when, when I dress up a ditch for me, I have to pick up well, the rocks and clean it up. Yeah, home. it's there. We all charge the homes accordingly since they want this is not treated like a farm. They're treated like a home. Now, I know it may not be legally open to do that, but it's not right. They're not paying their fair share for what I'm saying. But this was set up a long time ago, and it's still the same. I don't think we changed it. We need to get back to our bids, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go with John's repair service. He's done okay before. So how much do we have to find? What's his bid? There'll be money left over. Almost forty two thousand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, forty one. Yeah, we, we go with Redmond, we, we we're in the hole and uh, we go with the John's repair, we still got a good what, thirteen thousand maybe? Cushion. Yeah. <laughs> Move we accept uh, John's repair bid for the work on this cleaning this ditch. 
Crane. Little Crane. I'll second. Motion, Mr. Cox. Second, Mr. Uh, Pinkerton to go with uh, John's repair quote. Any other discussion on that? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 I believe that's carried unanimously. We want to push to get that fence and stuff moved back. I think that happens starting tomorrow, doesn't it, Jim? The one to the north, uh, uh, and speak a little bit now, Mr. President. Uh, yes, sir. The, uh, I do appreciate the discussion you had. The, uh, but it is really a big concern of mine, this uh, pool and the I'm going to call the pool at 26 feet, and I'm going to call the white fence at 26 feet, and we got two other buildings at 26 feet. Um, so, if you, if I'm going to go with Gordon because I really like this thing of holding our ground at 75 feet. I realize some people don't have enough room in their lot, but this thing and knocking this down to 26 feet and stacking all that silt in there so you can stay three feet from the fence and three feet from the creek now we got a two-foot hill that blocks all those waters all them lots cannot drain back into the creek and um, i think we got a major problem coming on there and with the two foot of silt i can't mow the creek anymore so um, I want to I want to go back in and mow the creek because I feel like that's the only way that we can the homeowners know that we need that drainage. Um, you know, and I somehow and I guess when I'm driving down through there and I've been through there a lot of times, um, but. We have got to hold 75 feet because if these solar panels get into our county and if we don't get our 75 feet held and get our mutual drains held at 75 feet, we got major problems. And uh, I don't, uh, I want 75 feet held very highly. But, uh, but I'm, because that, Driving down through there, I get extremely high blood pressure. And uh, I just, because uh, I don't have, I, right now, this year, we lost ground because there's a, I don't know where Jim wants to call it, a private ditch going east and west or a contributory going east and west. Yeah. That is not a county ditch and we can't get to it anymore because they've built too many homes. Um, I, I brought Jay Tinkle with me, who is the chairman of the Home Association on the north side of the contributory. And um, I mainly want him to come just to listen so he understands what the drainage board goes through to so he can tell the homeowners. Uh, but the south side of the ditch doesn't have a home association. No, it's separate from Crane Pond. Yeah, so, uh, but somehow just, I probably should have talked before you opened Redmond because I would, I would really like to have Redmond in there. But uh, so our problems are just beginning if we, if we stack all that silt on a 20 foot width because uh, all them homes are six to eight feet above the creek and yes, so, yeah it'll have to be leveled out where it doesn't hold water back <laughs> yeah it's gonna you have can't, to be, you can't level that you're not not gonna have room no, i'm gonna have to push it into the next lot right there to 26 <laughs> feet <laughs> yeah but, I mean, that, but 40 yeah. feet isn't wide enough for that much sill no that other plat, there is a plat of easement, and 
and uh, it does show platted easement 50 feet on one side and you I made copies for Wendell if, if Pat wants to look at them and it's platted 40 feet on the south side but I think the city would probably have to talk to people to get them open that well that's what um, but right now who do I go to to the city Mr. Pat yeah <laughs> after he takes over our east branch <laughs> yeah yeah, we're, we're how spent Keep smiling, Pat. That. Keep yeah. smiling. I'm, Two I'm years. trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so, but no, I I, uh, I know this discussion's been up several times, but 75 feet, we well, have got a hold of it. You know, the one lady, you know, she, and that's up to the board, but, you know, she's not going to move the fence right now. I would like to go ahead and do the project, and if we got to scoop the dirt one way or another, to get it done, because we, we could be in litigation because if she bucks us and tries to keep that fence where it's at. If, well, it won't be a white fence when they're done. The board, and you know, the board could vote to uh, send a registered letter along with a copy of the plat to every landowner on there so they see this 40 feet and they have it in case they didn't look at their covenants well enough to know that they have it. It's redundancy, but I think we have to do it. You know, I the, think we have to the, do that. Uh, Mary, I'll help Mary with the letter and then we could put the paragraph together and then Kyle could take it from there and it could come from the attorney it could be a registered letter along with the maps we wrote letters after letters to them you know me and mary with, yeah, with the easement the wall the road put the dirt on the fence <laughs> that's what i told you that said lady. i did but i was thinking it <laughs> i told the, the lady the white fence that's what was going to happen <laughs> raymond and uh, jim came out to it must have been right after we got there. You told her that right before, right? <laughs> yeah, because I... She wouldn't tell me her name. I told her. I uh, I said, your fence is at 26 feet, and we're spreading the silt at 40, so it's going to be on both sides of your fence. Oh, boy. Well, I, were sure. well, I, I can reach over the fence. I, but, I, but I'm, you know... I know we're funny, but it. Uh, and I, I did leave her a copy of the code. Got serious I, problem. I, I, I told her, just think about this. You know what's happened here, but I, I think we need to send her a letter on her fence because she doesn't have permission to be permission there. to be in there. No, I mean at least at least Joe came and, and, and got that permission, got that reduction. But and he realized I, I don't know how we can ask the lady of the north to, root, to move her fence and, and not the lady to the south. But that's the same thing. She's voluntarily moving her. She's cooperating because she knows it needs done. Well, there's a trampoline out there that pulled out of the roots so they get through there the, a year or so ago. The guy come back and staked the trampoline to the ground so they couldn't move it. Yep. Well, we went through and sprayed in May. Um, I think it was a tree promoter. But we went through and sprayed so we had to drag the trampoline out of the way. And when we came back in in July to, to mow and clean up some dead trees, it was staked down and then finally she came out and said she would move the trampoline so because they got a letter that time before you yeah. came this last time they yeah. had a letter to move and everything yeah. so anyway if anybody needs their blood pressure raised i'll take them for a ride down through there <laughs> that's why you wanted to give me the free ride right <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't charge for the ride all right you know, I'll, I'll have to be out there when the project is being done because I'm guaranteeing you one of some homeowners is going to complain. Yep. You may have to have the deputy out there too. If you need it, call for it. Absolutely. <laughs> He's throwing the rocks back in the ditch. <laughs> All right, we are going to keep moving. We we still uh, have quite a few things on the uh, business to do. Um, uh, personal privilege. We're going to. Uh, move Aaron Newby to the front because that was actually supposed to be handled last week or last meeting um, and uh, we advertised um, for it to be actually uh, dealt with last uh, last uh, meeting no one uh, for or against showed up to complain or to uh, move it forward our attorney says because there were no objectors and or uh, yeah. proponents that we can do a, a vote on it's that whatever we want right yes uh, but technically uh, again even though there were no comp 
uh, complaints or proponents last last uh, meeting. I will open the floor for uh, the uh, Doyle Ferguson uh, to see if there's any addition on the public. Uh, part, part we need, we need to vote. I'd just like to add, Mark, this was a petition to raise it from $5 an acre to $7.50. It's a $50 home site, $50 minimum, and it's going to have a four-year shutoff at 24000 It brings in It'll bring in $6,065 a year. Okay. What you're voting on. So, um, how many acres? Okay, there he goes somewhere. It's here. Right. 754 acres. Six home sites. All right. We will open up the Aaron Newby uh, uh, public hearing if there is anyone that wanted to speak to that issue. This on an oil Ferguson day? No, this was on Aaron, Aaron Newby. This, this was uh, supposed to be handled last uh, meeting and it didn't. So we're doing that first. Hearing none, we will close the uh, the public uh, portion of the uh, Aaron Newby. And uh, what are your ple pleasure, gentlemen? You didn't get any letters or anything? Nothing. The one, the one gentleman that went to raise it farmed most of the property, so they already knew what was going on and knew they needed a little more money in the case. And he's the one that recommended this yes. rate? Yes. And Mr. Atkins is on the end of it. He pays on this. No complaints. I move we go with yeah. the rates as advertised. Mr. Cox has made the motion. Mr. Goff has seconded. <clears throat> Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 It is carried. Uh, we will move forward on the uh, Aaron Newby paperwork and uh, we will go to the Doyle Ferguson uh, now uh, before we open up the public hearing if you want to give us the uh, basic information Jim. Okay this was raised years ago in order to clean out all the open ditch which has been done in the last two seasons. The current rate is $25 an acre with a $50 per home site, $25 per, par uh, $25 per parcel and a $25 minimum for collection of four years, which begin in the spring of 2020. The Grant County Drainage Board has been petitioned for a decrease rate of $5 an acre, still keeping the home sites of $50 per home site and a $10 parcel with a $10 minimum for a collection of four years. And the farmers have petitioned this thanks. Uh, right now they have a surplus, I think, of 30000 is that correct, Mary? It's on your note there. What's which note here? Uh, yeah, there's 31,912 in the fund. So at this reduced rate, with the ditch just now being dug out, they feel like they're going to stay on top of it. There's some representatives here today. All right. Uh, we would. Wait, any other questions? Answers? Okay. 1,387 acres with uh, 13 home sites. So they want to reduce the rate, right? This is a. Yeah, they'll still bring in $7,612 a year. I sat down with the main or one of the, with Harold Turner and we talked about it. And with that rate, it leaves, it brings in enough to put it on the spray program and then have it, then have it cleaned out in about five years. And that keeps it, keeps the money there to do that with. All right. Any other questions on acreage? Anything else we need to ask before we open it up? All right, we will open up the uh, public hearing to uh, public comment <coughs> regarding the uh, Doyle Ferguson. And uh, you would like to speak for or against the, uh, the change? Step up to the podium, present your name, your address, and your concerns, comments.
first amendment and uh, I'm against it. Happened to many. We were uh, obviously under the assumption that this fee we paid this last time to clean the ditch was going to be a one time, paid over four years, and that was going to be a. And now this has turned into a. We're going to maintain a ditch for the rest of the, our lives, I guess, is what this has turned out to be. Is it a county owned ditch or is it a private ditch? It is a county, <laughs> county easement. So you still own the property. Because the way I understood it, that was going to be a, we paid $70,000 between all the farmers and the homeowners. And the farmer that I assume brought this to light and had all this done doesn't even own property there or a home. That's my argument against it. And I don't think I should have to pay it. I have one acre out of all the people around me that are farmers. And I don't contribute hardly anything going to that creek. I have a septic system and a leach line, and everything goes into that. And if anything, I get my yard gets flooded during the heavy, heavy rain. And I don't even believe that the tiles underneath in the back of the forest are even any good. So I don't see what the people are benefiting from it. At least homeowners like me. That's about all I have to say about it. Okay, thank you, sir. Anyone else like to speak regarding the uh, Doyle Ferguson public hearing? Well, <coughs> I'm the one that sent the petition around. I'm Harold Turner. Thank you. Uh, and this ditch was goes through woods, had a lot of tree problems. We got it all opened up. We got several. I got several acres going into it, and it hadn't been on maintenance. And we needed it on maintenance. I told everybody the ditch that goes through their property. I said if something needs to be done. Do it. I keep my ditches clean, mowed, sprayed, and then the people that don't. Then when we go cleaning them, I pay for that. <laughs> But we got it on maintenance now, and then we'll, you know, we at least keep it, keep it in shape. We're going to get on the spray program. We're, yeah, we got on the spray program. And, but, uh, yeah, we, we, we had to raise it several dollars on the assessment so we, so we can get, so we could get it done. We got it done. And that just, our, our home site rates go everywhere from $25 and $10 if it's a lot of subdivisions all the way up to $100 for like Rigdon and Point Isabel. They're paying a year. Now, you know, I'm on a $50 home site a year. And I have Taylor Creek in my backyard and my leach field does go into Taylor Creek. So I do get benefit from our perimeter drain around my leach field. Now when Taylor Creek floods, I still, water can be a foot over my leach field. You know, so I have to wait a little bit before I try and use my leach field for the water to go down. But, yeah, but I'm still would. getting, I'm still getting a benefit. I, had to, you know, by being able to use my septic system. When, when we, when we started this, you know, I, I got several acres going into it. I was paying for my wife had to fix. I put up twenty five dollars an acre so we could get it done. <laughs> And so we did get it done, and we want to keep it on maintenance so we keep it keep it in shape. You know, we're going to add you to the spray program. I think Raymond's yeah. already got it on there. Yeah, we got the it next there. round. Yeah, that that was the that was the reason for the rate to keep enough money to do the spray. Yeah, and I have enough to dredge it five six years down the road. I mean, every ditch gets sealed every year or something. But you know we don't have the maintenance. If we if it's not on maintenance, you know, ever so many years, we're paying it all. We're paying it all out at once instead of over a period of time. So, so how, how many acres do you have going into the roughly? I don't know. It's on this about, we, I think it's a three mile ditch and about. Oh, that's it's not all. Our acres going in. I mean, 145 not acres. Right at. Well, then we got the L or LLC is going into it also. Yeah. But probably what two thirds of the ditch is going through our property mm -hmm. out of a three mile 
I think is your property right there at 125 or 1,000? Huh? Is your property that 125, 1,000 corner? Yes. <clears throat> I thought your sister owned that. Well, my sister, I mean, we farm it, we just... So we're going... I, on, I, own, I own one side. $5 on an acre, mm -hmm. $50 home site, mm -hmm. 10 minimum, which is stupid. Yeah. And four year collection. Well, what do you want it to be? Well, that's just what it was before, wasn't it? The 10 and the 50 don't make sense. Right? Well, if you had a small parcel, didn't have a house on it. Okay, okay. That's where, you know, okay. the only yeah, in the home okay. site for the 50. Say you got a one acre parcel off to the side, or you've got to have something on there for those smaller parcels. Well, why is. Okay. Okay, I get it now. The only thing I can oh, see. Thinking right. The only thing I can see on it would be that the home site is not coming down where everything else is coming down. Yeah. But he's but he's putting water in there every time he flushes a stool. Not in the creek. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It does. Yes, you are. Through your the, the ten dollar minimum could be switched to five dollar minimum for small parcels. No, it's the home sites. It's the would still be paying the same. Yeah. That didn't change. Mm -hmm. How many home sites are there? 13. Six hundred fifty bucks. Well, we're on ten bucks. One hundred thirty dollars less a year. Yeah. <laughs> the the tr troubles, like Mr. Turner said, if you wait for a reconstruction. Then you got a big chunk you got to pay with the county yeah, loan, and I agree. you got five years to pay it back at ten percent interest. So, in the long run, if you want to keep things flowing, a maintenance was is the way to go. Yeah. What were were we at that we're bringing it down to, to five point five? Yeah. And that got the work done. I got the work done. And that home site was fifty. Yeah. And it's staying fifty. Yes. So we never we never raised the home site when we was no they're starting starting the project you know the home site never raised and ours did now we're bringing seven thousand six hundred twelve dollars a year for the upkeep. Right. Yeah. Anybody so if we else? Change the well, size twenty-five. We, 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 we need to make sure we need to make sure we have, don't have any more public okay. comment before we okay. But I guess it. need to let them know if it, what we got it. There's a top end. Yeah, once it's collected for four once years, it's collected, it'll shut off. It'll shut off. It'll it'll shut off. Yeah. No That's money spent out of it. That amount still hasn't paid off yet, right? What's that? The seventy thousand dollars. We're still paying on that. Well, no, it's paid it's only for been two, two years. Uh, it's only been two years. Of yeah, it's paid. That's why we're dropping it now, so we don't have to keep paying. That bill is all paid. It's paid for now. And see, when we set it up, we didn't know exactly what the how many years was going to be. Yeah, going to be. lower the home sites. I'd suggest twenty-five because mm -hmm. we, we need to keep them consecutive, mm -hmm. like 150, yeah. 25, 10. Like on Luger Creek, it's only ten because there's like four hundred homes out there. Yeah. All right. If if there's not uh, other public uh, comment, we will close the public portion of the hearing and turn it to the hands of the uh, board for uh, action. Well, I'm going to go with the $25 home site because they paid in, mm -hmm. the farmer paid in, we're giving the farmer a break now, but we're yeah. giving the homeowner a break. And 25 is better than nothing. Yeah. I don't object. And the minor amount is three hundred bucks. Yeah. Make a motion. Well, we can see if anybody else has any comments. No, I, I, I agree. Okay. With that. Well, I move that we uh, change these rates to five dollars an acre, twenty-five home site, ten minimum four-year collection on the door first. And you said five per acre. Yep. I'll second that. Mr. Cox and second Mr. Uh, Goff. Discussion?
All those in favor would say aye. 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 It is unanimous. I think that used a little bit of Solomon's wisdom there. Well, good job. All right. We are going to, uh, I think we've already taken care of Little Crane Pond, haven't we? Yeah. Barron Creek and Lee Holloway, we have an erosion problem. He wanted to make sure we didn't forget on this erosion problem. We run short when we bid it out. We're still waiting on new dueling to be done. We didn't have enough money for leach prong. It was 53000 the unnamed ditch is going to be cleaned out at 8,764. And Raymond's got some figures here. It's crippled. Well, yeah, no, it's, well, the balance will be 6,338. So in order to do the unnamed branch, we're going to have to borrow a little bit, but we, we need to clean this. So the bank slid in. He's got a letter here. It's a, he has a 30 foot filter strip. The 21 five, one feet will fill a strip on the other side. Remind me, Barron Creek South, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Goes across where 26 sinks. Yeah. Okay. By the railroad. And you, here, here you can pass the pictures, just making a curve there, so. You know, we don't want to forget about this and we need to get on it because it's putting dirt Is in the Is it collection money? Yeah. Yeah. But what so is maybe the plan we, to get it done? Well, we, we're, we, uh. When Redmond digs the unnamed branch. Yeah, when he pulls in to do the unnamed branch. It's right there. In that When's that section. scheduled? As soon Fall. as Redmond can get there. He pulled off of that in the spring because uh, he was going to have to uh, run over all the crops. <clears throat> and Until after harvest. Yeah, probably. Yes. Right. They brushed they brushed new du new dueling to Palatine and beyond, but they didn't do the digging. Yet. Will we have the money in there to yes. cover it all? Do it all? There'll be money. There'll be after fall collection. There'll be ninety eight thousand <coughs> in the account. Okay, I see that down here at the bottom now. After fall, but when we first went into it, we weren't sure how quick Redmond would get it done and how soon he would pull it out. We didn't figure we'd have spring collection. To add to okay. the Those were tight then. And, and they were taken off of the So it probably worked out good that they had to pull off. Yeah. So that they could collect more money. Yeah, that's the only reason there's a balance or not much of a balance in the account. Because he had all the brush, it was heavy brushing trees. He had all that cleaned up ready for planting. So they were gonna lose crops if we kept on. And So we just need to vote that we're going to go ahead and add this to it when it gets out there. <coughs> Fix it. It'll just be by time and material. That? Have we already discussed adding this? No. Oh, this is new. I'm just going to add on. That's a filler. I told him we got to fix it. It's just we've been short on money. Yeah. He's not here today. He's not on the curb. I don't think so. So all we're gonna do is fix the curb. Yeah. It, it could turn into an expense, pretty expensive, if they have to pull the bank back for a long distance to stabilize it. Yeah. Depending on what it does between now and the time we get there, too. You want the rip round. The thing would be that you'd be jumping it in front of doing the, the leech prong. If we do the you re digging part of Barron Creek that's already been dug before you do the leech prong the first time. But Lee Holloway's been calling in for at least the last four years. Every year wanting something done. And we need that the Barron Creek is the main prong of all of them, so we gotta keep it from you know mm -hmm. filling in the main channel or we're gonna be starting over. So the leech will be the last one dug when the money bounces back. Like I said, they're gonna be ninety eight thousand, but we're spending Pulls in forty three thousand a year. We still we only roll Redmond six thousand three hundred thirty eight dollars on dueling left right. for dipping. And then the unnamed the eight thousand. So. Eight thousand. So we're still going to have a big balance, but maybe not fifty three like the quote was. But we're we're going to retake quotes on the leech. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, I move that we add this uh, erosion problem onto the Barren Creek reconstruction. 
at Redmond's convenience. <laughs> the next in progress, next in line. Mr. Cox has made a motion. There's support. I support the second. Mr. Goff has <clears throat> second that. Any other discussion? Just before we vote, there are plenty of other problems like this we haven't discovered. That's why I want to hold the tightest to, uh, to our money as possible right now, <laughs> just, just when we get surprised. So. But since we're we yeah, have the money in this fund. Yeah, so. we're good on that. So all in favor would say aye. 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 It is carried. All right, last on our list. Thank you, Randy, for waiting. We're going to take a request for a public hearing on the Hollis Daughter. Tonight, you guys, for your overtime today. I, and I'd just like to give them a little heads up. Uh, we put this on maintenance from State Road 26 North, the upper end. We had opposition at that time. Uh, now he, he signed a petition to put it on maintenance a little bit farther down to, uh, is it 1100? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a map for you to look right here. In, in there. I've got one. I've got the feet. I remember that. Yeah. We're going to put it and take it down here. You can find another copy. So the orange is already on maintenance? Or yeah. Right? Yeah. It has been yeah. for years. We're adding this magenta color. Mm -hmm. Pink. Magenta? Ooh. <laughs> That's, uh, How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And that's adding a, another, there's 1,212 on the upper end on maintenance, and that's adding another 1,052 acres. Yeah, your third another, sheet. Third another 23 down. home sites. That's the one I'm on, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if they were. This is the open ditch for what Paul Shiver from Blackford County met with you guys last meeting about, and we approved that uh, the funding for the tile that runs into this, so this ditch becomes the outlet. I think it's important that we get uh, some more depth in that ditch in order to make sure that that expensive ditch is going to have adequate outlet. <laughs> yeah. So we're just asking to add more acres, not to raise the rate. Oh, we got to raise the rate. Got to raise the rate too. Yeah, in order to get the work done, I guess I'd propose. We're raising the rate on both. Combine them, then raise the rate. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, is this the one? It's both the Hollis Dollar Hollis Daughtery regulated ditch. And they're paying what right now? A dollar an acre. A dollar an acre. So the orange area is paying a dollar an acre. Yeah. Yeah. Is this yeah. county is this county? Grant County or well, yeah. 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 Well, it's all Grant County. County line marked up there by the name. The clerk the edge of the picture. Yeah, yeah. You know that Dr. Parker said it was there the other day. Would that raise that to him? Uh, I'd say it's my understanding that whatever we asked for today can be lowered at some point, but never be raised again. Now what would it be? We do the Blackford County part for uh, uh, Blackford County is handling that. The, oh, the deal handling. was okay. that they're going to take that was care a tile of the out pile. Out on our side. Grant from County our takes side. care of the open okay. ditch. Yeah. What, whatever we set as an advertised rate, we can't go above, but we can go below, and at another time we could raise or lower it. Okay. With another just not a here. meeting from and here. The current homeowners are paying what? Ten. 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 I mean, I've got 317 acres going into it. Mark Towns has got 168 going into it. Um, the Maddox family, there's a couple of them there, and they've got 203 acres. Uh, that's that's the bulk of the acres going. And all into these it. people are with you. All on the petition. 34% so, of the acreage signed the petition. So if we add it and raise it, are we looking at two public meetings or? No, one public one? hearing. Add that other part and then have the hearing. So what do you want to raise it to? I think we need to start 15 bucks an acre and then, you know, once we get the work done, I mean, this ditch is significantly um, in uh, bad shape. Underfunded. Underfunded. I think it's like Harold yeah. did. I think we're gonna have to take a big shot out of here to get it done, and then we'll bring the rate down once we get the work completed. We've just barely kept it going 15, as these funds 15, build up north of 26. 15 for home? Yes. 15 per acre, 50 per home. Be a standard. 
Now, you're you requesting $50 per home site? $50 per home site. What for a minimum? $15. Huh? What, $15 for the till acre minimum? Oh, for a minimum. minimum. One acre. $15 an acre. Okay. Well, I'll do 15 minimum too. Four or eight year collection. Four. Do you have any idea how long it will take? Four. Four. I mean, it can always be adjusted up or down as we go if they. Yeah, if it's out of money, it keeps going. Yeah, if you just keep spending money, it's not going to shut off at four years. Only if you left that money alone, which we know we can. Well, we've got so much work to do up front. I think I think we can maintain it once we get it improved to that point and. Don't spend all your hundred and some thousand because we may need to borrow half of that in order to get the job done. <laughs> oh, well, looking back, well, looking back, back, back the new is two years. <laughs> oh, back, yeah, okay. okay. Did, did, did you clear that? Did uh, you clear that? Uh, we did clear that? Did you today, didn't we, Pat? <laughs> did you clear that $50 home site with your son? <laughs> yeah, I can, I'll take care of it. So we'll have one non objective on home Leave the sites. minimum at five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because there's only 28 of them. It ain't going to make a difference. Make it 25 a home site? No, five. A minimum. On a minimum. Okay. So 15 acre, 50 home site, five dollar minimum for your collection. Uh, before uh, yeah. Richard, uh, there's only 28 of them. The Richard. Uh, Paul Shriver from Blackford enlightened me a little bit on that. With the five dollar being the minimum yeah. that the state will let you charge. If you go back in later and you lower the acreages, you can't lower the minimum, so you can't treat them all equally. But it's already at the minimum amount. Right, but if you, take, if you take the acreage, but if you use the acreage at 15 and you go in and lower it to 10, you can't lower the minimum and you're supposed to treat everybody equally. So bring it to 15. Like, like, you, did okay. with the, like you did with the guy with the home site? Yeah. Because the acreage has come down, the minimum has come down. 15. They needed the home site needed to come there you down. Go. Change it to 15, man. I just. <laughs> I, I see your reasoning. Okay. That works. So we're now looking at uh, advertising $15 an acre, 50 a home site, 15 minimum, four year collection. Did I miss something? No. And adding on the acreage. And adding and acreage. And adding acreage. Got third. Third page. Well, that'll pick it all Maddie, up. 1,052 acres. Is that going to take the yeah. whole list of the one state? I'm not hearing anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all going to be part of that. Looks like we're increasing October. That 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 that'll that'll make, that'll that'll make that it bring in around 45,000 acres a year. That'll just take a minute. That's not an issue. They, they could spend 45 to 50 right now easily. And not, not, not solve, no, not solve, solve it, but relieve the bottom and relieve the top. Yeah. How soon can you do the public hearing? Um, is the assessment roll current right now, October 11th? You got you everybody notified. We've got something on October 11th. That's just getting out. Out. One landowner assessment. But it's not like public we're hearing. doing Humble Creek. We're just having an easy financial anyway. No, we'll be okay on the next meeting, October. The next meeting in October. Don't count on me after the first meeting in October. Okay. Let's go first meeting. Well, October. you can't vote on odd anyway. On odd, no. But but, but this and and I, I yeah I'd like a full full board present. Right. So I, I think we go with eleven. Come on, Richard. Eleven for this. Huh? <laughs> it's different when you work for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> you got to follow there. You have sick days. You'll have sick days. Uh, have sick days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we would need to entertain a motion. Yeah, we have the raise. So we got the two windows out of the meeting. Oh, yeah, right. The October 11th. So we need the motion to approve the rates the, and uh, adding the acreage and uh, do it on the 11th. Pat made that motion. Who wants to second that? I'll second. Gordon has second that. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed no. Abstaining, it seems unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Jim, we got any other business? We got it.
Well, I have Gene, some for you in two weeks. Old Gene, he's he's going. What in the world were you guys thinking? I didn't even know you told you. Thank you, Motion. Chairman, can I make a comment? Yes, sir. Be the, before uh, they make the motion, they made the motion. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, he's not going to pay attention. <laughs> the uh, this this home thing, my blood pressure route out there. Uh, if if they are going to, it's going to get worse. Cause us to go from two dollars a foot dredging to ten dollars a foot dredging. Why can't we up their house? You suggest uh, a public hearing, and they'll take it to a public hearing. It, it can that right? can be it. It can be because you know this thing's going to get worse, and uh, you know when we come back in 15, 20 years and want to dredge this thing again, and. You know, we're trying to drive through there every year just to make sure, but uh, somehow I think, I feel like we have got to get these homes up uh, when they're creating the problem to make ours go up. Yeah. I don't feel like it's right. We're going to have to be more uh, picky on setting our rates. Oh, we could do it depending on where it is. You sign a petition to raise the rates and, and give us a rate on the farm acreage you, you want and the board will discuss the home site rates with your input. And what I it? think with uh, Brian Cates comes in that other direction that needs cleaned out bad on that, mm -hmm. on that easement. So there'd be a few hundred acres signed on that petition. There's an easement on that one come off of Brian. Brian. That's a 40 foot easement down through there, except for that first swale there. That, that's 25. But I can't prove that that's a county easement. I don't think the drainage board has authority to make anybody get in there. I think that's got to come from the city, right, Brad? You think that's a city easement? I, I don't, the flat just says easement. I don't, I don't know that it. Well, it's just specified. Public area. utility easement, 40 foot drainage Public setback. Utility. Okay. Well, what's the difference between the utility and drainage board? It says drainage setback. Drainage setback. Do you know where that city sewer goes through there, Pat? It it crosses that east west. Yeah. I mean, see the board never the yeah. board never approved that. The city engineer and Pat signed off on that <laughs> with the city area plan. So that tells me it's the city's authority yeah. on that line. So he he's the one that gives me permission to go. I think I signed line. off on everything on that. Yeah, utility service board approval, 07. Oh, pinky. City area plan signed off for it. So that becomes a city public utility easement. So he can give me permission to go mow. Well, yeah, their attorney can write a letter to somebody. <laughs> There's really some bad stuff in the way on that one. Yeah, the What's same it? fence you got in the way. That's that got fences too. And then they just oh, added 10 pine trees. Right, right there where it starts out on the east side of the farm. I'm just passing them that way. So. Did you I'll give you, yeah, I will give you my free ride anytime you got time to go. No, on the east side of the ditch, and grass pine trees don't give you a bit. No. You need the old 36 inch whirly bird that you walk behind. Uh, it, it starts out at 25. This guy on this side's got the That's in that dad's barn. Now when you pull the other one off, retired? Is it retired? This is more than 50 feet. Wendell, I didn't even ride with you. You raised my blood pressure. How's that? Thank you, Mr. Wright. You already made the motion. Pat made the motion. Who seconded it? Second. All right. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. You know, this is. Not the concern is a red utility. This is specific. Over dreaming. So, but, yeah, I think they can give them permission to go in. Now I'm going to talk to you. That's not going to happen with these subdivisions that are close to the I just need clarification.